What up, farm? How you going? So, um, yeah. I'm back into the wind rowing. Wind rowing some more canola today. Um, the season has been unusually slow to start off this year. It is definitely not usually like this, but I think we're starting to hit the busy part. I think it's, uh, it's right upon us. So, um, I've got 60 hectares to do here. I've done 27 thereabouts. Um, so far so not quite halfway um but yeah it's gonna be flat out from now on i think i hope we've got a cool week coming up though so hopefully it won't get too ripe for me but anyway i'll just keep going as hard as i can and um yeah hopefully we get out the end with all of it done Here we go, nearly finished this paddy. Another one down. All right guys, we're back out here on a different paddock today. Uh, you can see there. So this is one thing I love about the In Command 1200 screen from Aglator is I can split screen it. So I've got my main run screen here and then I've got an overhead view with Google Earth images underlaid behind it, which is really handy when I'm contracting, when I'm in paddocks that I'm not familiar with. Um, it helps me to get my bearings and just makes it a lot easier, really. A lot, a lot, um, yeah, a lot nicer. But anyway, I've just, um, just finished watching church, the live stream from church on my phone. Um, yeah. We're about halfway through this paddock, or probably a bit more actually. And then we get to go onto a pivot. So any fellow farmers out there, or car drivers or whoever, you'll probably relate to this. I have one pesky fly in here somewhere and I cannot kill it and I cannot get it out the door. It's just, gets in me hair, around me ears, and all around me face, and I just, it's frustrating. Very frustrating. Oh, I think I've spotted him. Yes, got him. Yes, we have victory. Oh, that's a relief. Right, so we've been going for a while up here on the pivot and it looks phenomenal. It looks really, really good. It's a big crop and it's coming down well. I'm pretty happy with how it is. Um, you'll be able to see, see it there. So this is only the second time the pivot's been sewn. Um, the first time was in a video that I'll link up here somewhere or down here when we sewed it last November. Um, yeah. But anyway, we got most of it done. Managed to move the pivot out of the way, or get, get the fellas to move it out of the way so that we could get everything that's underneath the pivot over there. Yeah, it's good. All right, so we've got that paddock finished, got the pivot done. Now we're gonna take the front off the nitro and put it on the trailer. All right, so we got all of the hoses unhooked and now we just got to sit it on the trailer over there. There we go. Disconnected. All right, we've dropped the nitro off next to our canola because we're going to start Wind rowing that. That's the next stuff that's ready. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. I'm excited. <laughs> Got dad hooked on to the front. He's gonna tow that home. Now I'm gonna get in the ute and take that. All 
right, guys, we are into it. Let me stop that. We're into it. We're into our own canola. This is really exciting. I'm um, probably more excited than I should be, but anyway, it's exciting harvesting your first crop. Um, this is my first crop on this lease property, and this is my first crop of canola. And it's exciting because it looks really good. There is quite a lot of ryegrass growing underneath the canola, but that's okay because we've actually got the spray system on the nitro, which is spraying out those grasses so that they won't, just so that they won't set a seed and um, then there won't be the same amount of numbers next year, which is our goal. Um, yeah, anyway, it's going really well. It's windrowing nicely there looks to be a bit there which is very very nice all right so one of my Instagram mates uh, Stu the farmer he kindly posted me some of this this is Oswan uh, Biltong Biltong is what it is it's a jerky like a beef jerky alternative um, I've never tried it before um, but it looks really good. And if it's anything like beef jerky, it's gonna be really good. <laughs> so let's, let's try it. Initial reaction? Really good. I really like that. Oswan, Oswan Biltong. <laughs> Give him a look. All right guys, we got that one finished. Now it's time to shut her down for the night. Right guys, we're just about to get back into another paddock for today. Um, might set up a bit of a time lapse and you can watch me do it.
There goes the school bus over there. Hello to everyone on the school bus. <laughs> oh, I got some good memories of uh, watching tractors in the paddock while going to and from school on the school bus. Good times. All right, so we're nearly at the end of this paddock. You can see we're getting pretty close. And then this will be the end of all of ours. Um, and we'll move back east and start back over there again on a, another customer's place. So yeah, we're getting through it. It's not ripening too fast and we've got a cool week coming up. So it's not gonna come in too quickly. But anyway, we'll just keep chipping away at it. All right guys, we got that paddock all finished off and dad came up hooked onto the trailer. We put the front on there. Now we're heading to the next job. Paddock there, there's another paddock further down. Yeah, we brought brought the old ute out the other day. Anyway. Um they're gonna have a look tomorrow to see if it's right to go and then we might be able to get into it. We'll see you then. Alright guys, so we got started on a paddock back over there. Um it's a bit lodged. It's hard, tough going. And I apologise to the people that get to harvest that because it will be a challenge. But anyway, I'm doing the best I can. But we have a problem. I noticed this big oil slick on the back of the front and our knife drive pipe has broken again. I don't know if you'll be able to see, probably not, just back in there. A tiny little split. Anyway, we'll pull it off and get it fixed up. Right, guys, we got our uh, pipe welded up. Let's go to get it out and put it back on. Here we go. The the little patch weld that I did <laughs> just in there seems all right. Got it all back on. I actually switched the hoses. This one was the pressure and this one was return. Now this one's return and this one's pressure. Oh, anyway, I switched them over. They'll be opposite now. The one that was breaking or has broken twice, um, it's now the, the low pressure side. So hopefully we won't have any troubles with it. And hopefully we don't have any troubles with the other one now that it is the pressure side. Right, we've been going along for a while and it's going pretty well. We're nearly done. Then we'll be on to the next one. Here we go. Another paddock all finished off. Now we're going to do some patching out in the next paddock. Alright guys, so this is one benefit of the Ag Leader. I was able to follow on this split screen, because we got one screen, main screen, and we got the split screen. I was able to follow the change in the soil type on the satellite image picture here to figure out where I needed to um, patch out this paddock and do some windrowing. And yeah, it worked really good. It's a, it's a really great, really handy feature. Alright guys, so it's been a few days since I picked up the camera actually. Well, it's been, the camera's been in the bottom of my lunchbox, but anyway. Um, I've got a little bit done, 
I don't know, maybe like 200 hectares or something like that. I've been battling with some broken pipes, it's just some ones that drive the knife down there. Um, that's really, I've been struggling with them, they've been breaking a bit. Um, but anyway, it's alright, we've been fixing them up. So, yeah, today is a Sunday and unfortunately I'm on on the nitro but that's okay because I can still make it to church via live stream that's one good thing about the advances in technology I can now live stream church so I end up watching a fair few services during a Sunday on the nitro um, but I just wanted to say you might not be a church goer you might not have ever been to church if you're curious at all you can get in touch with me or you can just search up any church that you want and fair chance they'll probably have a live stream or YouTube video of their service so you can go and check it out fully anonymous anonymously and um, yeah I just I encourage you to have a look because if you've never been tuning into the live stream is a um, perfect way to see somewhat what it's like. Another one done. One paddock closer to the finish. When, and now we're heading back west. Knock out a bit and then come back east again. Yeah. 